Hey, and welcome back. So we finished up our first section or our first tier in terms of our sitemap recently. And there's other things we can do that we haven't necessarily thought about because our actual sitemap doesn't necessarily start at our homepage. It starts with our onboarding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just duplicate that. And this is where I kind of like to merge these sitemaps with a flow chart. I like to call them product maps. I mean, it's whatever you like to call them. Just make sure you don't call them something that totally doesn't relate to what you are doing. But so when I come to the onboarding, I will have an option to go to registration. I will have an option to log in. This could be like our welcome screen if, I, if I've if i logged out from the app. And I will have the option to skip the onboarding. So this is like, generally we have to think about first time users and also for users that log out, even though that's probably, that doesn't happen as often. So if a user decides to log in and register, look at a, a login register screen, and that's where they can log in and that's, where they'll be able to register. So we're going to make those instances log in and sign up. We will make those instances log in and sign up. Perfect. And if they do register, remember when we created this user flow, they'll go through a registration process. And that will be profile details that they'll have to enter and interest based details. So I'm just going to do that. And I like to line up everything up with each other. So it's nice and neat. What else is next? We have to also think about search. So we can actually link these. So if I bring in auto flow, onboarding could lead directly into there. That's where it will typically lead. If they do skip the process, it can go there. So what we can actually do is let's delete that line. Another thing with autoflow is you can select directly from inside the container as well. So I'm going to take my login. That's going to go there. And my registration is going to go right there. I can also go from registration to there. And this is going to take me back, but I'm not going to actually do that right now. So, okay. That looks good. I like that. And this login will take me back into there. So actually that's getting a little confusing. I don't think we need that. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. What else do we need to do? Let's talk about search. If we just, so now it's not necessarily looking like a sitemap anymore. I mean, this portion is, we know the hierarchy of our entire product, but over here, we're just thinking about like what happens even before the product and what that hierarchy looks like. So it's just something that helps me figure out how I want to approach wireframing and it actually kind of helps me think about the different types of inputs or elements that I'm going to have to design for. So we're going to have a search. And we'll have the input. We'll have a way to have previous searches. So this can be like a member only thing. And I'll just change that in a second. Actually, let's just leave it at that. I like that. That's totally fine. So what do we have here? We have members only. So that's good. And uh, search results. I wanted to kind of just create a little screen for it. Let's fix that search results. Perfect. So we'll have they'll delete that and let's think about the content here. So we'll definitely have an input for search. We'll have filters. We will have items. So now I know essentially what this is going to have. Let me just make sure everything is aligned. Okay, let's just bring in auto flow one more time. And I know that search is going there. And I know that 
this is going to lead to my search results. So I could actually go in and individually link all the different pages to their part. I mean, you could do that. It starts getting confusing because there's so many crossing lines. But this is what our site map has begun to look like. And you can definitely build this out more. You can go into here and think about what do categories mean? What do those pages look like? But as you can tell, we're probably not going to go past another level. We'll probably grow one more level in certain areas and that's it. The main content that we're really focused on, like searching, is going to be very big primary action. Same with things like shopping, interests, and habits. I have it structured so that these are this is the way that you're necessarily going to come across it on the screen. That could change, but that's the way I'm thinking about it right now. So I want you to continue building out this sitemap as you see fit. I mean, go for it based off of your sketches and your user flows. Think about those a bit more. If there's pieces that you think come up that you or I have missed, I mean, fill in those blanks. Have fun with it and yeah, go ahead and build your own sitemap.